<laughs> hope you're all okay so today i'm doing um a bit more of a sit down video because i've been shopping and i wanted to show you everything that i've got so i'm going to show you bits from a, a country fair that i went to today also to set some second hand bits and then also i went to b&m so i'm going to show you some bits that i got from there too bit of a jumble but yeah let's start so the first place i went today this morning was the diamond country fair which i love i love it so much i went with my mum and i brought a few little bits so let's start the first thing i got was obviously for my dog barney if you watch my i think it was the video before um you'll see that i brought a little cocker spaniel puppy barney barnsley bear and he loves toys so i've just shown you pretty much but they had a jewels um tent there so i got him this bone and it's so cute it's got dogs and like raincoats and holding umbrellas <laughs> but they were all on um offer like on sale so i've seen this in the shop and i think i paid four pounds for this one uh which is nice he enjoys that already he's had it i was like yeah i'll get it for him for christmas no i gave in the minute i walked through the door and then i got in this duck quite oh, quite it's so cute it, uh, really colourful actually and it's huge because he's so small he had it in his mouth running around the garden he looked so funny because it was just so big for him but he's got like a bit of rope there that you can sort of tug him with a little bit um it, it does have a squeaker but no i'm afraid it doesn't work but that's okay um but he loves it how cute and it's got the little jaws bunny there uh but this was six pounds it is quite a big toy as well and he loves he loves little naff toys like this so yeah that's all good and then also i bought these <laughs> how nice i don't know if you can see them there you go they're hooks they're like cast iron hooks um but they're they're stags now these um they had like a a uh what do you call it like a bit of a bargain tent i suppose where they just sold a load of random stuff i did buy a few christmas presents from there but i'm not going to show you them because they might the people who have brought them for might watch this video but um these were only three pounds each so i got three because we're hoping to do up our utility room into like a bit of a half utility room half boot room um so we're gonna have some nice tongue grief paneling and i thought three of these to put our coats and bags on would look lovely so yeah, three pounds and they're blooming heavy as well. So they're gonna look cute. So I bought like, yeah, three of those. And then also from the same stall, I brought some tea towels, believe it or not. Um, these have just got foxes on, it needs an iron. So don't, you know, pay too much attention to that. But um, yeah, they just got little foxes on, which I think is really sweet. I got two, a pack of two for three pounds. So I thought that was quite a good price. But yeah, they had ones with stags on, rabbits, all sorts. So yeah, I thought the little foxy ones would be sweet. And then I got, it was probably my most favourite thing ever. I love wildlife and pheasants, pheasants especially, and then also stags as well. They're my favourite. I've got lots of pheasant things here. And there's an artist there called Kimberly Dewhurst and she was selling, let me show you, she was selling um, lots of art basically but it was really quite expensive but it was lovely and she was selling cards and I've seen people where they take a card and they use it as a print so they'll frame it so it's like a, a cheap version of a, a bit of art basically and these were £3.25 each or five for £10. So I brought five because I'm, I've got some shelves here which I'm going to frame them all and I'm also probably going to put some in the bathroom maybe. So the first one I got was this one. I hope you can see that. You'll see my phone. <laughs> Sorry. But this one's called Fighting Pheasants. Um, oh, this is nice. It says, this card was inspired by the wonderful sights we see in our stunning British countryside. Oh, lovely. She's a Nottinghamshire based artist. Cute. But yeah, I've got that one first. And then I got 
So yeah, you can tell I love foxes. <laughs> this one's called On The Run Fox. That one's cute. And then got this one, this big old stag. This one doesn't have a name, um, but yeah, that's so cute as well. Like I said, I'm just gonna get some nice simple frames. So I did go through the range, but there wasn't any that I liked. This one's called Olive. It's a flying hair. <laughs> well, that was funny. And then I said to you, I love pheasants. So I had to get this one, which, oh, isn't it just so beautiful? This one's called Bold as Brass, which, oh, some kids. But yeah, how beautiful. So I thought for £10, I mean, when you think of them as cards, it's like, that's a lot. But I suppose if you think of them as little art pieces, that's quite good. So yeah, they're gonna look really nice on the walls. And then last but not least, I think, yep, I got a belt. There was basically a gentleman there who was selling uh, real leather belts, but he, you had them like made to size. So they were just like a long bit of leather. Um, and then obviously you picked one that was a good size and he, he made it for you. So yeah, I just brought this tan one, a thin tan real leather belt. And they were six pounds. They had slightly wider ones, which were seven and then patterned ones. But I just wanted a nice one because I don't actually own a belt. Yeah, my mum was like, you don't own a belt? I was like, I don't own a belt. I don't only really wear leggings. I don't need a belt for leggings, do I? But I did want one anyway. So six pounds. Cute. So yeah, got that. Bit awkward though, because, you know, you gotta like get a bed. Imagine if it doesn't go around. I mean, there was one, I tried putting it around me and bloody hell would have gone around my knee, let me tell you. So I then went this afternoon to B&M. I needed just a few bits and had a quick whiz around and managed to pick up some nice bits. So first thing I got, I went in for washing stuff, which you'll soon gather. I just brought some stuff. Although this is a new scent I haven't seen, or I've not had this one. It's called Spring Bloom. Let's smell it, shall we? Ooh. Gosh, that's floral. Yeah, it's bloom, flowers, yeah, wonderful. But yeah, really nice. That is nice, actually. Oh, very nice. And th this was, I think, £3.99, which was good. I then got ha, 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 Comfort, but it is in the scent Winter Sparkle. How nice. So it's got spiced orange, red fruits and amber. Now I only use these sorts of things on the bed and, and towels because, uh, you know, Ty, Ty has really sensitive, oh, it smells so nice, wow. Ty has sensitive skin, so anything too scented like this plays him up a little bit, but um, I brought that mainly for the bed and that's gonna smell delicious. But yeah, this one was, I think, 3 .99. And then last but not least on the washing front, very, this was really good actually. It's two ninety nine, and it's just a fabric softener, but this is for obviously like sensitive skin. So Ty finds that he can have this all, all on his clothes and it just smells so nice. Do you know what it smells like? My dishwasher tablets. Ooh, it smells like a dishwasher. Not that you'd want to, but a nice dishwasher. Anyway, this is what I brought for that. So that finishes off our washing. I also needed kitchen roll. No, I did actually get kitchen roll, but I haven't got that to show you because it's kitchen roll. But anyway, I got kitchen foil. This was a pound. I'd completely ran out, so that wasn't great. And then I also just got some of these, which, I mean, I'm presuming by now everybody's tried this scent, but if for whatever reason you haven't, please do. It is the most loveliest fre uh, fresh scent ever. It's called Summer Delights. And we've got, well, gosh, what have we had? We've got the plugins of this, we've got the squirter things, wax melts, um, oil burn, I say, oh, the lot, absolutely lovely. They're so good. Although, I'm a bit annoyed because I brought these thinking that we had the sh -sh things, got in the car, went, Ty, look what I've bought. She went, oh, I've thrown them away. So now I'm gonna have to then go and buy another one just to get the actual machine. But, you know. It's not too much of an issue, but they were, I think, £4.49 for both. And then I got deodorant in the shade, in the shade, listen to me, pomegranate and lemon. 
yeah, really nice. Should we smell it? Oh, straight. Ooh, that's nice. Very pomegranate-y. I feel like I'm whizzing through this, but I just don't really know what to say about it. It's about the things that I've brought. Anyway, I brought this candle in the scent Mandarin and Sunshine, which is just so cute. And it smells delicious. It's by Glade. I needed something just to help me because obviously with Barney, I get a bit worried about the dog smell. I think because we've got hard floor throughout the bottom and he doesn't go upstairs. So I'm hoping that it doesn't smell, but these things like this always help, doesn't it? So, um, oh, it's lovely. It's just so fresh. It's lovely. I'm definitely going to get a few more of those. That was, I think, £2.50. And then just some paracetamol. Oh, because... I like to have a medicine drawer. I don't know if anybody else does this. I've got like a drawer of, in a, a box in a drawer and it's got plasters, tablets, all the kind of tablets I think you could ever think of. But my mum always done that and my nan always done it. So I've, I've got like this big drawer just full of medication. So the last things I'm gonna show you are my second, well, two things I'm gonna show you, sorry, are my second hand bits. So I went to the charity shop last week I brought myself a bag. I saw it on the shelf and I was like, oh, I like the colour. It was so nice, isn't it? It's like this mustardy, greeny sort of colour. Not describe that in the best way, but you can sort of see what colour it is. It's so nice and it's real leather. And this cost me £4.50 and it's from Next. And I literally was brand new. Um, it's got a few different compartments. I've got my bits and pieces in there. But... It's just so nice and I love the thick strap too so it doesn't dig in your shoulders or anything so I love love that four pounds fifty and then there is a lady near us who runs a, like a business uh, event business and she was selling some items and these are for the wedding however they're also going to be used on our shelves and I got these they are filthy so please don't don't look too much at that but they're these two rather large lanterns, all glass, nice and, um, they're like a brassy sort of colour. And I paid £12 for two, which I've got one either side of my fireplace at the moment. And I'm also going to have them on the wedding table with some fake candles, because I don't think I'll be allowed real candles. Um, but I thought they were going to look so nice. And they look really effective next to the fireplace at the moment, so I'm hoping they're going to look smart. And then... The last thing, actually, is a question. As you can see, these curtains, um, these aren't my curtains, our curtains. They were, they were left in here when we brought this house. But this room is being done up, hopefully, soon. And we're having a Roman blind made over there and some nice curtains made here. Partly because I've got, you know, two, a, a window, two, two windows, basically, and I want the fabric to match. And I can't decide. I've got two fabrics here, both being tweed. So the first one I've got is this one. It's like a, a green tweed. I don't know if you'll be able to see. And it's got some red stripes, a bit of blue, yellow. And I like it. It's not very good showing you like that, is it? But the room is gonna go green, this room. So I don't know whether that's going to be a bit too much green, but it's lovely. Or, anywho, this one, which I, at the moment, is the one I'm leaning towards. It's more of a brown. I don't know if you can see. I hope you can. It's more of a brown, and it's got lots of, like, little specks of colour, which I think is so nice. But I just would like anybody's opinion, please as to which one you would prefer. I think fabric wise, I love this one, but because I'm going green, I think it's just gonna be too much. So um, if you please wouldn't mind letting me know which one you prefer, that would be most helpful. And then hopefully I can do you all like a, a transformation of this room because things are gonna change in here. Oh, oh, I'm so excited, I can't wait. But yeah, that's my video for today. I'm sorry it wasn't very long or probably very interesting. But I thought that I'd show you at least what I've brought today. 
Um, yeah, I hope you've all had a good week and you have a good weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.